Thank you very much. Scandal. How to get away with murder. Can we talk? We're losing him. He's dying. I want this entire place covered in gold. Jane, you ignorant slut. No, these aren't the transcripts of a typical morning at the White House. Uh uh. <laughs> I'm talking about some of the work of tonight's outstanding inductees. They've all made such outstanding contributions to change the face of television. There's Shonda Rhimes, an entire night of network television devoted to her shows. Yes. So exciting. And she is the queen of an empire called Shondaland. I really want to go to Shondaland, you guys. John Wells from China Beach, ER, The West Wing, Shameless, Animal Kingdom, American Women, and he's not stopping you guys. And Roy Christopher, I love that we're honoring Roy Christopher. Production designer extraordinaire. The Oscars, Frazier's living room. He doesn't know this yet, my new office. Thank you very much. That's some extra work for you. Guys, I'm so happy that we're honoring Joan Rivers tonight. Yes, especially as a stand-up comedian, you know. I love to say that I was inspired by Joan Rivers. You don't hear a lot of male comics say, yeah, female comic inspired me. Are you kidding me? Joan Rivers was amazing. And I know in my heart that Joan would have loved to have been here tonight, just for the opportunity to say we all look terrible, right? <laughs> and of course, uh, I, I'm so emotional about this. It's the original cast of Saturday Night Live. How awesome is that, right? Yes! They changed the television landscape, made it cool to stay home for nerdy kids like me on Saturday nights and to go to school on Monday mornings with the show memorized. And I couldn't wait to tell people the things that I heard on that television show. Congratulations to all of you. It's an honor for me to be here as Master Sony. But before we honor tonight's inductees, if you will indulge me for a moment, I know we're supposed to tell jokes in this part of the show, but um, I would like to take this moment to speak to the current situation of sexual harassment and assault allegations happening, God, in almost every quarter of this country and culture. But right now I want to focus on this business, show business, our business. And as a proud and grateful member of this academy, I'd like to talk specifically to the men and I want to say, we have to do better, OK? And we have to do it yesterday. And guys, doing better doesn't just entail waiting for the worst examples to be flashlighted out of their holes for us all to agree that these monsters are horrible. Doing better requires us to be woke allies. And being a woke ally requires open eyes, active ears, a full heart, and a righteous resistance to a toxic patriarchal environment that oftentimes we as men overlook or disregard because we never get punished by it. And you don't have to, thank you. And you don't have to have a daughter or a sister or a wife to be empathetic to this cause. You can just be a feeling fucking human being. That's it, okay? And also, we cannot use the past to justify current behavior. We should be standing on the shoulders of those that came before us, not lurking beneath their loins. <laughs> Look, guys, we're a group that tells stories. That's what we do. That's what we give to the world, are our stories. Now it's time for us to change our story. So men, please join me, and let's make a pledge to do better, okay? We have to. Thank you. That's it. Did get that, get that out. <laughs> well, thanks for lighting it up, Larry. We really appreciate it. <laughs> kind of bummed us out right in the beginning of this show. I feel like I'm at the arc light in this place. Or something. Like, I should be introducing a movie right now. <laughs> if you have any problems, I'll be in the back. Just, um, no, I'll be there. <laughs> 